this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I no longer put dates on my videos because I realized it basically wasn't relevant to people. <laughs> so this is coming to you when you need to see it or hear it. But know that I upload a new Leo video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe anyway to help the channel grow. And also ring that bell so you get notifications of when your favorite videos are uploaded. I'm gonna start with a full oracle card spread. This is an energy reading. It is not a horoscope. So it's based on energies that I'm picking up intuitively uh, for all Leos everywhere. Sun, moon, rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury, wherever Leo energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so from whenever you see this video, it's coming to you when it's meant to, right? Just don't try to squeeze it because you don't want to break it. If it doesn't apply to you, then just let it go. Um, full Oracle card spread here. And then I always provide an extended option as well. That link is in the description box and the comment section below. And that includes a full tarot card spread that articulates and dives really deep into the reading. We get a lot more details and um, it's more a little bit more personal. Uh, and then it also includes a romance reading as well. If you want a general romance reading, check out Romantic Tarot. I put out that once a week as well. Uh, really interesting information in there as well. I'll attach it above. You ready, Leo? Let's go. <sighs> energy, Leo. Leo energy. We've got you, Leo. We've got you. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Let's get crowning, crowning your energy. Leo, Leo. No, you refuse to surrender. You refuse to give up. There's something that's bugging you. I'm telling you right now, it's it's almost like an irritation. It's it's that it's all you can see that somebody's making a wrong decision, or at least you really feel it so strongly that you've decided it's the truth. Whatever situation it is, it, it doesn't matter to you because to you it's the truth. And Leo, it's almost like you're you're being stubborn about it. You're you're absolutely refusing. Surrender now. Nope, not going to do it. Not going to go into that flame. Not going to be burned again. This energy of nope, not me, not this time. So you could be trying to avoid a situation, trying to stay away from feeling too much or experiencing too much or heading into a place that just makes you blow up. Um, something that you feel like you have to defend yourself against. This makes me feel a little bit like it's your heart space, but simultaneously it could be anything. It could be your career, projects that you're working on, whatever this is, this is an energy of being like, nope, but it's for me, I feel like it's almost like you or somebody in your life that you're like, why? It's almost like this. Intuitively, this is what I'm feeling. Why are you avoiding this? Why? You know that they're being defensive. You know that they're being, it's almost like you're, you're scared for no reason. Why are you being scared for no reason? Stop doing that. It's like, who cares if we get burned? You know how good it will feel? That kind of energy of what, you know this person is just like avoiding the situation. It could be you, it could be somebody else, but I feel frustration in you as if it's somebody else. This, this energy of, why are you making these stupid choices? It's, it's, and it's, it's a stupid choice to be defensive. It's a stupid choice to not get burned. It's a stupid choice of, no, I don't want to get hurt again. It's like, <laughs> like, okay. Um, bring a gentle touch. The energy of eight plus one, this is Virgo energy. This is love. So this is either somebody that you're dealing with or you yourself. It matters to you. It means something to you. This is a very delicate, dainty kind of energy that needs protection and needs guidance and needs love. It's like Bambi without its mom. Oh my God, it needs love. Yeah, um, very, very um, vulnerable. But at the same time, life is not as vulnerable and young things, cute little young things are not as vulnerable as you think they are. No, I'm not picking up a manipulative energy. This is Virgo energy. This is just the energy of nurturing or needing to nurture something or feeling that you need to nurture something. Um, something that is, you don't want to break it, but at the same time, you do want to yell at it. Yeah. 
because kids need to be yelled at sometimes. I'm just saying. They do. It's like, I'm not trying to like, come on, man. I'm not like a child, but sometimes kids need to be yelled at. But it's like, it's almost like this thing is so delicate. You're afraid. You don't, you want it to love you. You want it to trust you. You don't want it to run, but there's an energy of it wants to run and hide like a deer in the spotlight. It wants to, it wants to run. You know, it's scared of you. You don't want it to be scared. You don't want it to be scared. You don't want the opportunity to be scared away. But Leo, you do have an energy about you that is like, I know what I want when I want it. You know what I'm saying? Leos are, Leos are lions. They're hunters for God's sake. They get hungry and they go after it. But this is, it's almost like you've got the deer in your sights. And the, it's, but, but you can like, you don't want to hurt this deer. You don't want to eat this deer. And you, it's almost, it's like the, the deer is retreating from you as if you're a predator. And guess what? You freaking are. You are. But for some reason, you have really fallen in love with this deer. This could be an opportunity that takes an extra finesse, an extra, that's a little bit like it, it doesn't, let's put it this way. It doesn't speak the language that you speak. I don't know if that's literal or if it's, I feel like it's more emotional. It, it needs something from you that your intensity is um, not giving it. Okay. Um, turn knowledge into wisdom. Piscean energy. Uh, six plus seven, 13 adds up to four. Ooh, something hidden. This is my moon card. Uh, turn knowledge into wisdom. So it's more, it's more than just knowing. You have to understand. This is going to take patience and almost psychic connection. Ooh, see, set healthy boundaries. Three. Oh, isn't this, this could be dealing with a Cancerian because this is a Cancerian card. Cancers get really, really defensive, but this is like getting too defensive. This is like burying yourself into heavy armor and it's looking how sweet and cute. Do you see the same eye? The same eye. But now it's like bombarding itself and protecting itself. And this could be you. It could be you. Because remember, your crowning energy was, I don't want to get hurt again. I don't want to get into that again. But it's almost like this energy of, no, I don't want, I want to defend myself. Leo is causing you to be overburdened and not allowing you to be touched or connect with new opportunity or, yeah, a new opportunity. Like, it's almost like you're hiding yourself or this energy, this person that you're dealing with is hiding themselves. But there's a lot of predators here. Can, could you, like, it's all, there's the wolf. He's got, you, he's got you in his sight. They know you're hungry. Let's put it that way. They know you're hungry. And it's like they can feel your hunger. And it scares them because in the past, hunger has been just devouring right? Or maybe you can feel your own hunger or it's hunger outside of you that you can feel. It's just an energy of being able to feel the hunger and feeling like you're, you're, you're being hunted, right? You can feel the hunger, but it's just somebody, it's not real hunger. It's not, I want to devour you. It's the intensity of somebody's feelings for you. That's what I'm getting or the intensity of this opportunity for you. And that's the energy that's causing defensiveness and someone to pull away or back away. Sweet results await. Mm -hmm. You're working on this. You're not going to give up. Remember what I said? Surrender now. You're like, nope. So this is definitely, you're not going to give up. Even though somebody is going into retreat mode, you're not going to give up. Even if it's you yourself going into retreat mode, you're going to not give up. It's like that last push up when your arms are shaking and you're about to collapse, but you like grit your teeth and you're going to get through it. It's like you want to shake and just collapse, but only a collapse is going to stop you. And then you're going to take a breath and end up completing the last one anyway. That's the energy. Because you know hard work results in sweetness and honey. So there's some sort of honey that's waiting for you. This is your energy. This is Leo energy. Uh, feeling good about yourself and being rewarded for all the hard work that you've done, dripping in the honey that you've worked hard to create because this is the energy of creation seven. Um, and the honeybee don't get the honey sweet results await. 
the bee doesn't get the honey until the bee works very hard for it. And so this is abundance that you have worked for. And so this is hard earned, but you will be getting it. It will be coming through. This is your central energy. So this is what you've set your sights on. And more and more, this crowning energy is, nope, I refuse to give up. Life is speeding up. Gemini energy, both sides of yourself, working in harmony, getting in sync, getting online, not leaving anybody behind. I refuse to leave you behind. That energy I just keep getting is we're moving forward together. I'm moving forward whole. There's a lot of great momentum here, Leo. So success is coming to you. Things have started to churn. Things have started to turn for you. If they were going backwards, they're moving forwards now. Take a leap of faith. Um, energy of three. Hmm. Who? This is also good fortune. So you're moving right into more fortune. And I think that you had to make decisions too fast to actually just um, be able to analyze all the facts. So you just took leaps of faith into you just you just went full steam ahead trusting that not necessarily things were going to be great, but trusting that you will handle them as they come because you believe in yourself and you believe in your fortitude and ingenuity. So that's a great, that's a great way to go into manifestation because, because let's put, uh, let's face it. You can't prepare for everything. So it's, you're just like, I'm prepared for anything. I'm going to go. And that's what you did. And that's why sweet results await. But here we have that shadowy figure, that eight, that destiny, something beneath the surface that's hidden that you can't put your finger on yet. Well, guess what? It's not intimidating you. You know it's there. Maybe this is the thing that's stalking you. This is the energy of you feel you're being hunted. This is some somebody. So this is this is a masked creature. This is a not masked creature. Uh, a mask. Somebody. It's like looking out of somebody else's eyes. Life is a mystery. You don't really understand everything yet and something is still unrevealed to you or something or someone is still hiding. And then we have sometimes life stings and be peace. Sometimes life stings. This is your grounding energy is six plus four, which is 10. Something is coming to a completion, something on the web, in the web. This could actually be catching the bug that's been bugging you and bothering you, pestering you, being done, capturing it in a net because the dove is here to eat that mosquito, gobble it up. This is the energy of Libra, love and peace. Um, two plus one equals three, balance and holy trinity and a whole, like a, um, body, mind, and spirit all working and linking in unity, it's going to resolve itself. This, this energy of, of, um, tranquility. Whew. I'm sorry. It's not that I lost my words. It's that I lost my way to put my thoughts into words. So I apologize, Leo. But this is the, this is, um, bringing balance into an uncomfortable situation. So it's almost like Grounding your energy is something or someone, a message, information that helps you make sense out of stuff that was bothering you. It's like a messenger from spirit. As hoo-hoo as that sounds. But that's what this energy is. Let me flip the camera around. Hold on. Here it is. I feel like there's something missing. There should be one more card here. One more card, please. What is the one more card that Leo needs in this grounding energy to clarify things? One more card. One more card for Leo. There you go. Watch your words, but it's in reverse. This has something to do with the internet. It does. 
like um, being badgered, being harassed, um, people just letting it rip, surrender now, like um, um, it's funny that this is your grounding energy, but I'm just going to say this. It's almost like being, having been attacked and been irritated has prepared you for anything. That's what's grounding you. That's where you're getting your power from is that you've been through the ringer and you, you, it's not like you want to fly into it again, or somebody is avoiding flying into the same crap again. And that's why they're avoiding it. That's how they're, they're making a decision to make their life better by going in another direction or choosing something else or choosing something different because they just, they, they know enough now how to avoid the same um, BS that they got themselves into before. But this is also, that's another way of reading this card. It could very well be surrender now, refusing to surrender. And the reason why you're not is because you know how people can be. You know what these criticisms can be. Um, you know the worst of the scenario. You know it's just a bunch of BS. In other words, you know that it's not going to really hurt you or affect you. It's almost like you've just come through the worst of it. Validated by your choice to not give up. Being able to finally leave it all behind. I'm going to articulate this with Tarot. Leo, please join me for the extended reading. That link is below. And then we're going to go into the romance reading as well. I'll see you guys over there.